We want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south as we bring you today's Take 5. Today is February, Thursday, February the 20th. So we have a, a, a sunny day here in Ohio, even though the snowflakes are coming down. It's cold outside, but at least there's some sun. Uh, I think we're getting closer and closer to spring. I heard an expert, weather expert, just recently say that here in the Michigan, Ohio area, we may have an early spring. So maybe the groundhog was right. That would be nice. I see that we're going to get some warm weather next week as well. We got the fireplace going. Things are rocking and rolling. We're going to have production in tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we will have uh, the CEO of Menno. We'll be announcing our partnership with uh, Menno and the Children's Bibles. Uh, we'll tell you more about that tomorrow. He is a former Michigan man. Uh, we got some bad news about some Michigan stuff today. Good news that they won last night, but some bad news on stuff that's going on right now. Um, so we have uh, Eric on tomorrow. We also have Vicki, who's going to be on about extreme terpenes and Obey. We're going to do a, a Take 5 Q&A in between Vicki. So Vicki will answer a question. We'll do a Q&A on what's going on in the world because much is going on in the world. So that we are just doing a little bit of both to keep everybody Keep everybody engaged, right? Engaged. Um, what is the other thing we're going to do? Oh, and tomorrow Kurt will be here in the studio. So maybe we'll put a different camera up uh, with Kurt being here closer to the fireplace. Uh, he will talk to you about the His Glory Gold. So uh, pack, pack day tomorrow as we go into Friday. Uh, this week just went by so, so fast. <laughs> I remember thinking on Sunday, I'm like, boy, is this week over yet? And it was just starting. So let's start with some scripture. The Lord put this on my heart today. Jesus defends his self-witness. We are going to see a time of judgment that's coming like nobody's ever seen before. And we pray for them to repent. We pray them to, to, that they seek the living Christ before it's too late because the hammer is starting to fall. The Pharisees, therefore, this is in, in the Gospel of John 8, uh, 13 through 20, I will read. The Pharisees, therefore, said to him, you bear witness of yourself, your witness is not true. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And he is the only witness. Not LeBron James. One witness. That's to Christ. Jesus answered and said to them, Even if I bear witness of myself, my witness is true. For I know where I came from and where I'm going. But you do not know where I come from and where I'm going. Do you know where he comes from and where he's going? And through our love relationship with him, he is the only way. You judge according to your flesh. I judge no one. Yet if I do judge, my judgment is true. For I'm not alone, but I, have, I am with the Father who sent me. I, the Father, are one. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. It's in your Old Testament. Or what we would say the five books of Moses and the prophets, because this is t told to the Pharisees. Remember, the Pharisees believe in the prophets and the five books of Moses, where the Sadducees only believed the five books of Moses. And the Sadducees did not believe in everla or, uh, everlasting life. That's why they're sad. You see the old pun that to remind you the difference between the Sadducees and the, Phar and the Pharisees. I am one who bears, myself, uh, bears witness of myself, and the Father who sent, sent me bears witness of me. Then they said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you had known me, you would have known my father also. The only way to the father is through the son. And we close out in John 8, 20. These words Jesus spoke in the treasury, and he, and he taught in the temple. And no one laid hands on him, for his hour had not yet come. But the hour is starting to come for the Lord. We're seeing the, the signs and the seasons uh, that the prophets talked about in the end days that is coming uh, right before our very eyes. And we trust in the Lord and his timing. And his timing is always perfect. His timing is always, always perfect. All right, let's continue into today's news. As President Trump is speaking at uh, Hope for Prisoners graduation in Las Vegas, he has been tweeting a lot today, uh, a lot going on, lots of, lots of movement going on. Julian Assange, uh, we will tell you what we know. And remember, it's all for show. It's all for show. Everything's orchestrated perfectly. All right, China uh, lowered their interest rates today because their economy is in deep, deep trouble. Also, Chinese companies are saying they cannot afford to pay their working people. This is the worst scenario that possibly could happen to China. Uh, we remember we've been saying that China, uh, the, the fear of Xi in China is that 
the not having jobs for the Chinese people because you don't want 1.3 billion Chinese up, up coming against the regime. Uh, that's his only fear. And you've got to keep them working. You've got to keep them happy. This coronavirus and much more with their GDP already starting to, to plummet before this happened is a double whammo. And so the Chinese are in deep, 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 deep trouble. Um, that's what people ask about stocks. <laughs> I never recommend stocks. You're better off with gold. Gold or silver, because gold and silver it keeps its value. Because even if you've got a good stock like uh, Baidu, for example, Baidu is the search engine of, uh, of, of they're the Google of China. I used, to be, I used to be a shareholder of Baidu at the beginning when Baidu, I'm not a shareholder of Baidu anymore, I got out. But even if you've got a good company like Baidu and something happens like this in China, and they may be doing a lot of good stuff. Your stock is done. <laughs> your stock is, is, is in trouble. Look at Apple. Everybody says Apple's a perfect stock until the coronavirus. Why would that affect Apple? Because Apple relies on so much of China. Uh, their big manufacturing in China is behind because of this. But I will, under full disclosure, tell you something that I did today. I did buy some stock. I bought some more stock today. I bought Zion oil and gas. I bought more. Now this is a wild card or a wildcat stock. Uh, many have talked about. Uh, we hope to have John Brown sometime on his glory. Maybe our trip to Israel will stop by their Caesarea office if we have time. I'd love to do that. Uh, John Brown is a Christian. He is the founder of Zion oil and gas. There is no guarantee in the oil business, but underneath there's Bible prophecy. And underneath, he's drilling in the close place. And it's only 22 cents a share. So I had to buy some more Zion. Full disclosure. Pray about it. All right. Um, traditional pay TV. I had a talk with the CEO of Menno today, uh, finalizing our uh, partnership. We we're going to announce our partnership tomorrow. We are really going to uh, get into the streaming business and promote Eric and uh, uh, his, his company, which is Menno, uh, to take on the, uh, the horrific things that the Disneys of the world are doing uh, and have a way for parents and grandparents to be able to give their kids good Christian content and not worry about this other sick stuff. So we're very excited tomorrow to announce that partnership. You'll be able to go get, get Menno under his Glory Family Partners as a link. And you'll also be able to get the children's Bibles that they have. Remember, part of that is VeggieTales, Bob Denver. You'll hear more of that from Eric tomorrow. We'll be announcing our, our uh, partnership to really help the children. So if you're thinking about getting your child a, a, uh, a Bible, uh, Macaroni Bear has read this Bible inside, outside, upside down. And that's the exact, I was telling Eric, I said the first His Glory, uh, the first His Glory Sunday service on Sunday, Macaroni Bear, as part of the Simple as a Child, was reading from his Bible. That's the Bible that Eric's going to explain tomorrow. Good, good content. So we want to really, really get our children raised in the way of the Lord. You know, fast, I, I should wait for, I just got an email from him. I'll wait till tomorrow. But um, he's homeschooling his kids too. Um, so there's something going on. But what made me think of this is that I, being a former AT&T director, I always watch the stock market. I always watch uh, the telecommunication companies because I came from telecom. I came from AT&T. And before that, I was with, um, uh, with Verizon and Vodafone. Uh, so today, the, the numbers came out for traditional pay TV. They came in uh, just horrible. Operating loss of 6 million subs. That's horrendous. It is just, people are cutting the cord left and right. And what's fascinating too, and AT&T led the way to the pit. You know, the same AT&T that subpoenaed phone records that maybe they weren't supposed to. The same AT&T that owns fake news, criminal news network. Yes, we know you AT&T. It couldn't happen to a nicer company than AT&T. They're leading the purge down the toilet and subs going the other way. Uh, one other interesting thing about that is vertical, they call it vertical uh, TV. Verticals um, like the Hulu, the YouTube, uh, people going to alternative channels. That is flat and down too. So where are all these people going? Traditional TV is going in the dirt. YouTube and the Hulus of the world and the Netflixes are not growing anywhere near because there's getting more competition into the mix. And we, that's why we want to promote Minnow for Christian Broadcasting. Uh, but where are these people going? I think they're coming to His Glory TV. 
Yes. We're going to change everything at His Glory TV. Children's biblical content, prayer intercessors, documentaries, the Constitution. And guess what? Oh, a friend of the ministry just gave us a very good blessing since our last Take 5. We, going forward, will be having some of the best praise music on every Sunday that you can ever imagine. Some of the best of the best will be on His Glory TV. Oh, praise God. Uh, so they will, uh, through Trudy, God bless Trudy, she's been in the music industry for many, many years and knows all the people in gospel music. And uh, we will be starting that on Sunday service on Sunday at 12 Eastern. Again, my wife is away, so pray for me and pray for her. Uh, but we will be giving you that every Sunday. And also we're looking at doing at least a monthly, if not more often, praise music night on His Glory TV. So you see some of these great uh, praise, praise bands come about. We'll be streaming them then um, from, their, from their studios in California. Oh, I can't wait to get back to California. Yes, we're going back to California. I'm not sure if it's going to be June, uh, June, May or June, but we are going back to California. And speaking of traveling, I think we're, gonna, we're working on setting up a, a, a meet and greet in um, Florida. Uh, so uh, I think Allison and Elisa are Florida. So if you're interested in a meet and greet, it'll probably be later in March in Florida. So reach out to them. But also, if uh, we're still up in the air. We're, we're still up in there. We're not 100% confirmed that we're going to do this. But if you want to meet uh, in Washington, D.C., March 13th, uh, actually it's Friday the 13th. We'll probably be there Friday the 13th and Saturday the 14th doing some filming. I'll take macaroni bear to see some of these locations. We'll pray over these locations. And there's a spot uh, in Congress that where we can meet in an open place. So if you are in the Washington, D.C. area and you want to do a meet and greet, please reach out to Allison. And uh, if there is enough people, that'll just make our decision easy for us. We'll go. Macaroni and bear, bear and I will be on a, on a plane to D.C. All right. Um, Extreme terpenes. Everybody's talking about extreme terpenes. They love them. You'll, you'll be able to hear from Vicki tomorrow about the extreme terpenes. Go to this, gla this Glory Family Partners. Every single person I, I talk to uh, or gets it with me says they love the extreme terpenes. There is three different there's three different options now, and I can't, I, I can't, um, I'll let Vicki tell you there's more options coming, like for pets, 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 yes. Gummies, gummies, yes, yes. Whoops, I'm not supposed to say. I'm in trouble with a, uh, with, a, with a Beamer police, the Obey police. Uh, what other police am I always in trouble? Oh, we were in trouble with the uh, uh, copyright police on Sunday uh, because of one of the songs. But anyway, uh, Trudy uh, purchased something for us that all these... Uh, I'll talk more about this in, in the future. Uh, we really want to make sure that the people who have, who have the copyrights to these songs get paid for these songs. And uh, there's a way to do that. She has a foundation, and we will promote that in the future. Um, good stuff, good stuff. But anyway, we, we she helped us purchase a way that uh, we won't be in, the, in in trouble anymore with that, and the money will go to the right people who deserve it. All right. Uh, so extreme terpenes. Your obey. I don't know what I got today. I just pulled chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, get your uh, obey. Uh, intense therapeutic gel. Dennis loves his terpenes. A little dabble, do you? Also, the new terpenes, too. She'll tell you more about this tomorrow. But the new terpenes, it's in a different bottle. Uh, but it, it's, you, can put it, you can rub it on. You don't have to have, have the rubbing kind. It, it goes both under tongue or rubbing. D-Class. Yes, D-Class is coming. And more is coming. All right. Um, we, we, remember we said that if, no matter who you are, you know, I like the University of Michigan. Um, it was a sad day for me yesterday, personally. Uh, John Beeline, the coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, resigned. Um, he is a wonderful man. Uh, he used to be, the, he, used, he was a former Michigan basketball coach, very successful. I think he has the most wins in the University of Michigan. He went on to take on the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, as a coach. The spoiled NBA brats uh, of the NBA just tarnished it for John, and uh, it's terrible. It's terrible. I, I'll never watch the NBA again, and I'm no longer officially, even though I know the owner and have done business twice with the owner of the Cavs, I am no longer a Cavs fan. No, I am no, no fan of the NBA. Sad day when somebody like John Beeline, 
One wonderful thing, uh, many wonderful things about John Beeline. The times that I've had a chance to talk to John Beeline personally, uh, he, he, he went out of his way to, to talk with my sons. And uh, last time I think we were with him was like an hour and a half. And he didn't want to talk about Michigan basketball. He wanted to talk about God. He's a, he's a man of God. We need more people like that in all seven pillars of society. Maybe he'll come on. Maybe we should have old coach on. He's going to have some time. I hope personally he retires. Uh, I hope he retires. He's done enough. All right. Speaking of the University of Michigan, uh, two more things about the University of Michigan. Uh, Eric, uh, the CEO of Menno, uh, graduated from the University of Michigan. So we ended the call with a go blue. Um, Michigan basketball last night had a huge win. Macaroni Bear says, well, Dad, when are we going to start doing sports? I said, we'll do sports soon. You've got to get ready. And he loves getting into the sports. I said, not so much on the NBA, though. Uh, Michigan basketball won a big game yesterday under Juwan Howard. Uh, big, big game. But today, announcing a, uh, a scandal at the University of Michigan, I was told several days ago that this was going to pop up uh, and didn't say anything about it until the truth came out. And we still don't have all the truth. Uh, but there, this was investigated. A former Uni uh, University of Michigan sports doctor is accused of abuse from the 90s and the 70s. Apparently, this Dr. Robert Anderson, uh, was uh, the, the claim came to the University of Michigan in 2018. Sounds like the University of Michigan police uh, uh, investigated it. Uh, that's all we know right now. Um, so we pray for justice to anybody that was impacted. Uh, if you were impacted, please come forward. It's time to come forward. And you know what? Whether you're Michigan or you're Michigan State or Alabama or whoever, uh, evil is evil and it needs to be exposed. And um, we want it exposed. And if there's anybody that did anything wrong to cover it up at the University of Michigan, they should pay the ultimate price because there is no excuse for what has gone on in our universities. The day of the NCAA is going to come. I don't know what we're going to do for entertainment. Because the NCAA is about ready to cry. NBA is already, you know, sold or sold to China. Now they're, they're a train wreck. And then you've got the NCAA scandals with, uh, with Adidas and Nike, with uh, uh, Avenatti. Uh, it's, it's just, it's, what do you do? I guess we play Uno. Uno. My son has been wanting to been in the Uno kick. So I guess we watch Uno. Play Uno. Okay. Um, we've been talking for a couple of weeks about the Catholic Church, well, two years, about the Catholic Church. The big scandal of the Catholic Church is not out yet. It, it will be coming out. It's going to be drip, 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 leak, 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 boom. Uh, and it's bigger and scarier, than, and it's connected to everything. It's just the more you dig into the Catholic Church. Remember when I say the Catholic Church, that doesn't mean the average Catholic person. The good Catholics that love the Lord Jesus Christ with all their whole heart, their soul, and their mind. We're not talking about you. We're talking about the evil that has been done in the dark that will be shine a light. Like the archdiocese in Pennsylvania yesterday filing for bankruptcy. Remember what we've been saying for the last few months, you watch this same thing that happened with the, uh, the uh, Boy Scouts is the same thing that's going to happen to the Catholics. Is going to be, there is going to be class action lawsuits and they're going to start filing bankruptcy left and right. Well, it has begun. It has begun, I think it, was, it began today with the Pennsylvania, and I'm told there's many, 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 many more that are going to start filing bankruptcy uh, for priest abuse. They, they covered it up. Uh, they covered it up. I did see a situation uh, that I will give glory to God. Um, I, I wish I would remember the name of the show or where I saw this and the name of the guy. It had to do with the uh, Catholic Church, or not the Catholic Church, but the... Uh, the, the, the uh, Boy Scouts abuse, this, this man who is older uh, now was abused. The, uh, the, the, his attorney came out and said, there's, there's so many people going to be coming out. It'd be out, out, out. Uh, it'd be, it, it, it's going to be out of control. Uh, that so many are going to be coming. That's why they're filing bankruptcy. Uh, and he says it's far worse than anybody ever thought. And um, this man who has been abu was abused by a scout leader, uh, you can't imagine the abuse that these people go through. It's just, it, it affects your life. It's just, it's, it's just, it's horrendous crime uh, against children. But what that does to their psyche, it just doesn't end when you grow up. And this, you, this man, you could tell, was, 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 was hurt. But he did say the only thing that got him through this is his love relationship with Jesus Christ. And I went, giddy up, giddy up. 
Jesus Christ is the only way to fix anything. We all go through some kind of abuse, some worse than others. And we're all fallen. And we all need the, 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 the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's the only way. It's the only way to get comfort in this world is through him. He is the comforter, the Holy Spirit. That's why if you have the Holy Spirit in you, you've got to engage the Holy Spirit. Why have the Holy Spirit and not have it activated? As we're here, bing, bing, bing. What's the binging going? Got so many new noises in here with the fireplace. I got two guests with me, Maze and Zara. So that must mean my wife is away because when they, she's away, they come here. I guess I'm second fiddle. Okay, I guess I get used to that. I'm always second fiddle. Roger Stone. They came out with a sentence today. This is the Amy uh, Barham, uh, uh, um, ja Amy Jackson. Uh, who was trying to stick her uh, something up at the president. This is going to get very fascinating. Remember the DOJ, or the Ju Justice Department, uh, or not the Justice Department, but the lawyers, uh, the judges were going to have an emergency call yesterday. They didn't. They postponed that. President Trump tweeted out yesterday, well, if you're going to have this emergency call, I hope you're going to be talking about FISA abuse because <laughs> that's, a, that's a problem. Uh, but what happened with Roger Stone is he got 40 months but people are looking at this as being awoke. How did he get 40 months and McCabe and Comey got nothing for leaking? And President Trump has been tweeting this. They've been saying the same talking points. Um, it's, it's showing you two different scales of justice and it's waking people up. It's awoke. We know it's awoke. How do we know it's awoke? It's awoke because <laughs> my wife is making a shirt that says awoke his glory. We the people, his glory. Those shirts are coming soon, like Saturday, before she leaves. Um, versus people like uh, Stone, Roger Stone, Papadopoulos, and, and General Flynn, who, are, uh, who General Flynn is an American hero. Um, Rasmussen of the Rasmussen polls said the majority of Americans now believe that th those who did the illegal targeting of Trump should go to jail. We the people have a woke or woke 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 we the people we the people get used to that because there's a a movement and we the people around the reset uh and of all people it was russia that's coming <laughs> second fiddle in your house too you're grateful i'm on the fiddle yeah it's good to be on the fiddle uh at least you're on the fiddle right we gotta be thankful for what we have you know, I got two beautiful dogs that come visit me. I got to look at it, the glass is half full instead of, why are you coming to see me now when nobody else is awake, or around? The Great Awakening. We are starting to wake up. We're starting to wake up. The oldest recorded alphabet was found, and it is Hebrew. We started in the alpha, the alf to the tav in the, in the Hebrew is uh is the beginning language of the lord and that is the language that we will be speaking eternally with the lord jesus christ is the is 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 the perfect hebrew and if you hear hebrew you just hear them in israel here just talking in hebrew especially when they sing in hebrew oh my goodness if you ever want to meditate some night late go to www.kotel.com kotel.com in uh in um in the Hebrew means wailing wall, western wall. They have a they have a camera, so the camera is on the wailing wall, and you see them coming in late at night before the sundown. Because remember, it, Jerusalem is seven hours ahead of us, so you'll hear them praying, and some of the prayers are just so beautiful. Sometimes when I'm just really spent, I'm, my mind is gone. I'm just I just want to meditate on the Lord. I'll put on www.kotel and just listen to the prayers in Hebrew. Uh, it's it's glorious. So, no surprising that the first recorded alphabet is Hebrew. Uh, biblical locusts hitting the, the Africa and the Middle East, it's spreading like wildfire, millions. Um, locusts, 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 just like the Bible. Uh, so what does the Bible tell us to do? <laughs> not, not currency, 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 currency. Get your gold back, digital currency. Remember, as we said, Kurt uh, will be here, uh, a Marine, a fellow Marine. So you'll have two Marines talking about gold tomorrow. Well, this Marine won't be talking about gold, just that I bought, I bought it. Um, so if uh, you're interested in digital, digital back currency and gold, you can do both, uh, and both are important. 
um, because that is the future. Whether you like it or not, it is the future. The future is going to be blockchain, digital currency, and we know the reset gold is going to be very, very valuable. Uh, so get uh, we, we'll have that on his Glory Family Partner soon. Um, I don't see, I'm not sure. He's coming into town today if the His Glory card is done or not. We'll have to check. Um, but uh, His Glory Gold at gmail.com if you're interested in the gold, the gold, the gold, the gold. All right. Uh, Russia is helping with a financial reset. Fascinating. I knew that they were. To a certain extent, I know that there is a, uh, a sovereign in, in Russia. Uh, there was somebody else in Russia that <laughs> nobody knew it was from the House of David. I can't say that story. Someday I'll be able to tell that story uh, when this reset happens and um, we can say more about it. It'll come out. But anyway, Russia is helping with the reset. Uh, Russia also warned Israel on attacking Iranian uh, Iranian Qud forces around Damascus airport. We see the Ezekiel 38 and 39 war in place like no other time. Uh, Iran, uh, in Iran and Syria. Turkey shot down a uh, Russian plane today too, so that the escalation is at an all-time high. Uh, you got uh, Turkey again as Gomer. You got uh, Tubal Meshach uh, is some of the old Kastans of the old USSR. You have uh, Iran, which is Persia. Uh, you have Amman in the Psalm 83, which is Jordan, uh, that is in charge of the Temple Mount. Um, so lo lo lots of stuff going on in Bible prophecy right before our very eyes. First time in history that's happened. Remember, Israel struck Damascus uh, yesterday or two days ago. The Quds forces, there are the Iranian uh, elite forces that were by the, the Damascus airport in Syria. And remember, or Damascus, underneath the city of Damascus, is where they keep all their bioweapons. So you could see the scenario where a tactical nuclear weapon takes out the city of Damascus, fulfilling, for the first time in history, Isaiah 17. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, White House denies claim that Trump offered uh, to pardon Assange in 2017. Uh, lots, of, lots of counter moves on this. Uh, I'm told it is all being orchestrated perfectly because Assange is coming uh, po possibly next week, most likely next week. Uh, and this is all orchestrated. It's bringing up the Seth Rich situation again. Multiple, multiple places are talking about Seth Rich. Seth Rich is in the center of so many things now. Remember we said a year ago, a year and a half ago, don't fall asleep on the Seth Rich thing. That Seth Rich thing is coming to come back in a big way. Remember we said it about Epstein too? Oh, Epstein is going to break. Uh, it's starting to break. We're going to read the Q drops that ties to Epstein. Nexum and Epstein are going to be so Seth Rich, remember we said Judicial Watch uh, found emails between Peter Strzok and Lisa Page uh, re referencing and talking openly about Seth Rich. We now know more information about Seth Rich, uh, what happened with Seth Rich, not completely. We know it happened completely, but not compl uh, out in the public completely, but it's coming out. Assange, uh, the White House denies that they did, d d uh, did uh, run, uh, offer a pardon, but they were negotiating with him in 2000, 2017. That's when James Comey got in the way. So we'll, we'll explain that a little bit deeper too. That was, that was uh, information from uh, before. All right, we're going to read the Q drops right now. There's been many Q drops uh, in the last, last not, not too long. All right, so um, again, today is February the 20th, Thursday. Um, the last one that we talked about, Ask the, the, the Q, a YouTube video by uh, wait, Awakening Greatly. Uh, so then Q dropped 3874 uh, at 12.06 a.m. is a tweet. Trump knows something is coming. Yes, he does. He, he, te he telegraphed it at, at the, uh, the, 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 um, uh, the rally last night. Trump knows something big is coming. 3875, this was done at 1.34 this morning. Jeffrey Epstein and Les Wexner's Victoria's Secret CEO. Uh, Lex we uh, Les Wexner, founder of Victoria's Secret, connect the dots. Q, Epstein, kill box. Wexner, kill box. The story goes much deeper, darker, kill box. 
Oh, yes, it does. And that's why you have to continue just to go piece by piece by piece because if the whole Epstein story came out at once, I would say 99% of the people would say that's just too complicated and they'd walk away. They're like, yeah, that, something happened. But you got to be gradually take little bites. You know, the old saying is, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. You got to take one bite at a time to get the great awakening. All right, uh, hidden rats scurry into the open during a fire. The best is yet to come. That's 11, uh, 11, 13 a.m., 3876. Uh, Doe, this is for the bakers. It's a picture of, uh, of, of, of uh, Baphomet uh, worshiping to Satan. This is all about Satan, the blood, uh, using uh, S-E-X, uh, C-H-I-L-D-T-R-A-F-F-I-C, and the blood. These people are wicked. They are sick, and they're truly there's nothing to do under the sun. They've been doing it in our Bible since the beginning of time. And how Victoria's Secret models are tied to this and worse and more in Hollywood. Uh, so Doe uh, can bake one more, one more or defer. How could anyone, then, then there's a, a, a photograph of uh, Obama and Trump uh, on Time Magazine. Uh, the Time Magazine photo is showing POTUS or uh, President uh, Barack Obama Hussein. Remember he called him Hussein last night? Hmm, fascinating. Greenland, Greenland. Greenland. Somebody's visiting Greenland. Cold there, though. It's underground. So all the Time articles were in favor of Hussein, and all the Time uh, 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 front page of, of, of Time for Trump is just lighting a fire. Just terrible. It's complete opposite. Uh, who cares about Time anymore? It's like Sports Illustrated. Who cares about Sports Illustrated? I remember when I was a kid, I used to love Sports Illustrated. I looked forward when I was in like third or fourth grade. I thought I hit the jackpot in life when I got my first subscription to Sports Illustrated. I could, because you didn't have three, you had three stations in. You didn't get sports. That's when it was truly sports, not all this other stuff. All right, so we know the, the fake news, criminal news, have been doing it to, uh, to the people, we the people, for a long time, and enough's enough. Uh, so this is, uh, again, it says, thank you, Baker, comma, Bakers. The best is yet to come in capitals. Uh, uh, Killbox, M MSM, mainstream media. When facts and truth are not on your side, what tactics must be deployed? Um, uh, Killbox, PS. What, visib what visibly happens hidden rats during a fire? When the fire comes, what happens to the rats? Remember we keep saying the term rats? Rats, the rats are scurrying. The rats go into the cheese. It's not a coincidence. Not a coincidence. All right, uh, last Q, Q post, another false flag attempt to implicate the Great Awakening. This is Q post 3877 at 1127 a.m. this morning. It's a tweet. We tweeted this out from His Glory Me. Here we go again. What happens when billion-dollar media companies attack and miss? All for a few thousand followers, question mark. All for a conspiracy, question mark. A public awake is their greatest fear, Q. All right, uh, I do not believe there's any other new Q drops, no. Um, so stay tuned. Um, Bloomberg had a very bad performance last night. Very, very, very bad. It's almost like he did a, he did a flop. I, when I saw it, I was like, is he even trying? It's just me. I, I've not heard this from anybody. Uh, he's, he's just... <laughs> He, I can't be, he can't be that dumb. He can't be that dumb. He, you can't run a, a, a presidential campaign and, and, and just waffle through it like he's waffle through in things. Uh, some are saying he's done. He's absolutely done after the performance last night. Flop. Did he flop on purpose? Did he hit the, you know, the old boxing? Remember when they used to take the, hit the math because it was paid off? Did he take a flop? Uh, who knows? Maybe some people do things for the better good. When you're a billionaire, can't take the money with you. Maybe you're doing it for the better good. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, must say, POTUS, uh, most, most people are saying the winner of yesterday's debate, uh, by uh, far and away, was President Trump. That everyone else says it was just a, 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 a fight. Quagmire. Uh, Pocahontas attacked him. <laughs> Pocahontas. Uh, I wish I would like, I want to see that video of her taking the beer out and say, Hun, you want a beer? Who does that? Who does that? Her husband is like, 
Uh, no, I don't want a beer. You just knock yourself out. Uh, let's do the peace pipe. Uh, just to throw this out here, I don't know the truth of this, but who is driving the beast? The presidential, the presidential beast, you know? When it run, went around Daytona 500, who was driving? It's kind of fascinating thing of, that some believe who was driving that. Fascinating times we live in. Um, more reports becoming more, uh, I don't like to say mainstream because then you think of the fake news mainstream media. More reports surfacing from credible org uh, sites that are alternative news sites because we are the news now. Um, we the news are, are coming out, not, not His Glory TV, but uh, other sources. Uh, a lot of them we, 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 we communicate to, with too. A lot communicate to us behind the scenes. Uh, if I had more time, I would go into some of these big old books that they send me of intel. And I just, I don't have the time always to do that. But one of these days, I, I will. Um, more reports of the DOJ digging deeper into Comey McCabe struck. Paige is singing. And we're again told Paige is singing. Remember the shirt she was wearing when she said, thanks, Andy, with a wine. And it says, I am not going to keep quiet. We told you about a year ago, she wasn't keeping quiet. This, uh, this was orchestrated. They didn't name her in this. Also, there is another, another thing that was very fascinating that I saw, and I gotta see the picture. I gotta see the picture again. Remember, when we see pictures and we see videos, we have to use discernment. We have to make sure that there's, there's digital warriors, digital soldiers that go out and make sure these, these videos and these pictures are true. Because there's a lot of fake 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 out there I saw a picture yesterday that nobody ever brought up a picture of Hunter Biden next to Lisa Page why would Lisa Page be hanging out with Hunter Biden nobody ever brought this up fascinating uh, yeah he said Creed again yeah um, any, uh, any more word on having a guest to explain the reset? Uh, it's in the plans, probably next week or the following week, depending on if we w w uh, watch in DC. Um, but they do have a plan to do it, and they're going to do it uh, in bites so that you can understand it. I'm not sure if they're quite there yet. There had to be a serving of a notice, and I believe the serving was done last week. I don't know. I have to check up on that. I'm not completely sure. But yes, we are going to do it about the reset soon. And that indictment article that I was reading, and everybody's like, where is he reading this from? <laughs> well, it hadn't been served. Uh, it's been, I think it's been served. It's either already been served or in the process of being served. Um, it's big. It's big. Uh POTUS at the rally last night was really targeting uh, the coming justice. And that was referred to in the Q, the, the Q drop too. Justice is coming. POTUS was targeting or was, 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 was signaling that last night about how justice is coming. He knows it's coming. He's getting you ready. Yeah, he's getting you ready. Uh, DOJ really going hard using every tool in the bag against sanctuary cities. Uh, so they're really turning it up on the sanctuary cities. Newsom, uh, uh, Garcetti, they got the goods on you guys. You, you, you better be careful. Now, it's coming back. Remember, special forces went into L.A. and not only raided the Nexum lawyer, not only took the bioweapon out that now we're told could have wiped out all of L.A., uh, and they took the server and the hard drive on key L.A., and California politicians. They have it all. This is not the LAPD that took this. Now you see why the LAPD didn't have anything to do with it because it's, 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 it's rigged. This was special forces. Again, that was about a year ago that all that happened. So they've had that information for over a year. Um, your donations to his glory are the lifeblood of our ministry. Uh, so the Lord puts it on your heart to donate. Uh, you can go to www.hisglory.me if you're watching this from a different uh, platform than here. Uh, 
click on the donate button, hit reoccurring uh, for reoccurring donations, or a one-time custom donations. You can do either or, uh, or both, uh, or, and or send a check or money order to our PO box. God bless you because that allows us to continue to do the things we're doing. We're looking at adding another production guy onto the staff. Um, so that we have plenty of production and they can travel with us. And we got information, we, we have information on the Greece and Israel trip, okay? So I will read you the itinerary of the Israel-Greece trip. Um, so when we get this itinerary ready to send out, send this out to everybody. Because last time we didn't send, we just did it on His Glory TV and uh, uh, I was talking to Perry Stone Ministry and uh, Rabbi Jason's ministry that 40% of the people that go to, the, to Israel with, with, with Rabbi and Perry are outside of, their mini, the minis, outside of their ministry and it brings them into their ministry. And I, we just offered it up to His Glory TV. So pass this out to everyone. We want people's lives changed by going to Israel and the footprints of Paul in Greece. This is going to be the greatest trip you've ever seen. Macaroni Bear will be there. I'll be there. And so will Mrs. His Glory. So we will be seeing you in Israel and in the footprints of, of Paul in Greece. It is incredible. It will change your life. All right, Judicial Watch, bringing the heat on Yates and uh, Mueller team uh, using the Logan Act, uh, but not for uh, uh, John, uh, the Kenneth, uh, Kerry, John Kerry and those Democratic senators that we've been talking about, Murphy, Menendez, and Van Hollen. Uh, that is a clear violation of the Logan Act, um, but much worse. They are going to pay the piper. I would not want to be them. Menendez has escaped so many things of corruption, he's not going to escape anymore. And Murphy is, he sums it all up where we're at. And not just because they're Democrats. There were some Republicans that are in the same boat that have paid the ultimate price, like no name. Uh, Paul Ryan and many more. Mm. Uh, illegal immigrants in Massachusetts City won't be arrested if they're pulled over without their driver's license. You, you see a pattern here? We're treating illegals that break the law to come into this country, kill people, and, and worse. That if they're arrested driving, they don't have, without a driver's license, they're, they're okay. Now, if I'm in Massachusetts in that city and I don't have a driver's license, I'm going to get a ticket. They're not going to get a ticket. Uh, farmers do love him. That was great having that farmer come up first to talk. Uh, he's saving them. The farmers know. Farmers know that he's the only one that is, said what he was going to do and he took on China. And look what, it, look what it's done. Look what it's done. The farmers, farmers know. And this ridiculous thing about farmers being uneducated, and you take, a, you, you take a dirt, like uh, Bloomberg said, you just put dirt, and you put a seed in it, and you water it, and the sun goes, and magically you have crops. They've never seen a modern day farm, because I was, well, I was talking to a farmer not too long ago, and I got a headache at how complex that is. I came from a, a, high, a high technology background, uh, high tech, uh, Quantum physics was my last job of doing things for the military. Being a director at uh, AT&T uh, Wireless, being with Vodafone, being in Verizon and similar, similar roles. I've been around high tech all my life. I'm telling you, some of the farming that, that these guys are doing is way beyond. <laughs> to say that this is just, that's just, it, it's, it's foolish and wrong and it's very complex. And these farmers know what they're doing. I've seen, I've, I've seen them have it all planned out, the working, it's just, it's science. And you want to see science, speaking of science and farming, when, if you go to Israel with us, you're going to see how exactly perfect science and, and, and farming is in Israel. They are the world's best at retaking water and just taking drops of water and not wasting water and overwatering, but taking drops of water and the crops is are turning green exactly the way the, pro the prophet Isaiah said in the end days it will blossom as a rose and the, the nation of Israel is blossoming them as a rose their flowers and the fruit that they're sending it's just it's incredible the the, the technology it takes to do that um, so God bless our farmers in America Israel 
uh, and the world. Illegal immigrants. So we already talked about the illegal immigrants in the city of Massachusetts. Uh, you don't have to have a driver's license to let you go. 75 years ago, I think 75 years ago as of yesterday, uh, was it, I think it was yesterday, Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima. Semper Fi, a fellow devil dogs. Um, most brutal in the history of the United States, of, uh, the United States Marine Corps. Uh, that great generation. We'll never have a generation like that again. That served so that we could be in the position that we are in today. God bless them. Get your blood boiling when you people don't, they take the flag off the debate stage before the debate starts because they don't want to put the flag up. It's the flag that Marines at Iwo Jima and, and, and former military uh, in all, all, all branches of our service have put their blood on the line for us. Um, amazing, just amazing. It's time for us to wake up. Time for us to wake up and not let these cheeseheads uh, brainwash us anymore. So people are saying, what's, what's the significance of Trump saying Creed? I was told by one of my sources, uh, uh, the day before Creed's birthday, or Creed's the day of his birthday, it was one of the two, I can't remember, that the president's going to do a shout out in code, well, he's gonna say Creed. I've never heard him say Creed before, but he said it twice that day, and he said it a couple times afterwards, too. So, could be a coincidence, I don't know, it doesn't matter, um, but it, you don't hear Creed very often. One more one, him to say, he's been saying honey, but not the big honey. When the big honey comes, it is giddy up. And we're getting closer to that because two new banks today, uh, another bank today uh, had a crash, uh, or not a crash, but um, bad earnings. So get your blood going, doesn't it? So get your blood going. You got to get on your beamer. Get on His Glory Family Partners. Uh, if you're watching this from a different site, come to His Glory, www.hisglory.me, His Glory Family Partners. Click on Beamer. Get a Beamer session today. Uh, I was on the Beamer today, and I always feel, I feel like a million bucks after I get off the Beamer. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Um, honey. Extreme Chirpings and Beamer. How can you go wrong with that? That's the staples. That's the staples. It's all we need. All we need. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Rut row. Hollywood. Big media coming down. These people are wicked. So remember that when that comes out tomorrow when we announce our partnership with Menno. So please support this. Please support this. Um, we don't want to support Des Disney and all the, the, the corruption that Disney has done, that these Hollywood sickos have done. Uh, we, want to, we want to support Christian content and to raise our children in the way of the Lord. That's why this partnership with Menno is such a huge, huge thing that the Lord has put on my heart uh, for several months now. That's why we've taken it slow, that we didn't rush into it. Um, so you will have the ability to uh, click on His Glory Family Partners soon to be able to get access to the Minnow streaming services, the content of, of Bob Denver, of uh, the Veggie Tales, and their wonderful Bibles. Uh, get, your, get your kid a Bible, get your grandkid a Bible. These Bibles are incredible. Uh, kids love them. And when you have a child uh, that is on an iPad or an iPhone, you want them on that content. You don't want them vegging out on something bad. You want them seeing Bob Denver, Veggie Tales, and walking them through Christian content, knowing who our risen Christ is. Say no to Disney, yes to Menno. Uh, the Steven Spielbergs of the world. All we can say is, rut row. Now you have an alternative to Disney movies. You'll have Menno, and they'll be coming up with more content as we go. Um, but Macaroni Bear loves it. Uh, the I think it's Bob Denver. I'm not. Maybe I'm saying the the, the wrong. Um, Eric will tell you who what, what it is. I might have screwed it up. I'm good at screwing things up. So if I said it, it's probably wrong. <laughs> uh, Japan is 65 plus quarantined on a ship. Uh, not going so well in Japan. Remember, Japan is using an HIV treatment. Uh, why are you using HIV treatment? Uh, on coronavirus because it was a bioweapon. South Korea, first, first death in South Korea. 
uh, there was a prophetic word that I was given by um, somebody I, I trust their prophetic words. Um, I think it was Hank. I always say his name wrong. Hank Hooneman, Kuhneman, Hooneman. I always screw it up. Uh, everything I've ever heard about and seen from Hank has been always spot on. He had a uh, prophetic word, I think today or yesterday, somebody sent it to me, and how God is going to take the coronavirus and wipe it out. So um, there's not many that have the gift of prophecy that I would say uh, listen to, but Hank is one that has been really good, and uh, so is, uh, who else do I listen to? Um, well, obviously Kim Clement has always been really good too. Um, and Kim is right near us. Yeah, I know it's I know it's spelled that way, but I don't I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Kunaman? Kunaman? I tell him if he ever if he ever watches his glory, I, I apologize. I apologize. I'm not I'm not trying to do a Buddha judge 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 on Hank Kunaman. I'm trying to give him kudos to Kunaman. Okay. Anyway, um, George Zimmerman uh, from from the uh, who, who was from. Uh, 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 who was uh, vindicated in the Florida uh, situation. Uh, he, he's suing Elizabeth Warren and Pete Buttigieg for $265 million. Ooh, ooh, Buttigieg. Now, Buttigieg, I'm saying that way on purpose because one, I don't know how to pronounce his name. And two, it's not that I'm really making fun of him. It's that that's what President Trump says. So I'm doing the Buttigieg as a as a as a as a Trump of the of the um, Trump of the church, <laughs> so one of Hollywood guys that I, that is a producer that had something to do had uh, helped with the chosen. Him and I were having a conversation about six months ago. He goes, "Man, he goes, you're Donald Trump of the church." And I said, "Oh no!" He goes, "That's a good thing. That's a good thing." I said, oh, "I get a lot of at me, bros. I get a lot of at me, bros, because it's about love." Not rules. That's what the Christ is about. We are the church. We are the church. Christ is ahead. We are the body. We are the church. We don't have to go into a building. We can have church anywhere we want, 24-7. If you go on a trip with us to uh, Israel and uh, Corinth and Thessalonica, where Paul went, you're going to see these were cities that they gathered in people's homes, not in a building called the Church of Corinth. It was a city. And we're going back, it was, it was J. Vernon McGee 30 years ago that said in the end days, the church will go back to the way it was supposed to be. And the way it was always supposed to be, organic, in people's houses. There's nothing wrong with going to a church in a building somewhere. That, there's good, that's fine. But it's hard to find a good one. And you can spread without cost so much, so much better. And there's more fellowship when you have 10 to 15 people in a home church than there is with 1,500 yeah, they say, oh, yeah, there's 1,500 people. Uh, 1,500 people that go to our church, we go there for fellowship. You're not going there for fellowship. You're going there to get a cup of coffee and a donut, and you say, hey, how are you? God bless you. Everything's great. Get in your car, and all of a sudden you're screaming at your wife. <laughs> That's the fake church. No, as somebody said the other day, she goes, I, I got on his glory Sunday service. It was so awesome. I felt the Holy Spirit. I didn't have to put on my makeup. I didn't have to be, I, had, I didn't have to, I, I'm me. God sees me and Christ sees me in the heart. I don't have to fake it. We don't fake. We're in TikToks. I wonder if that's you, Zara. Zara, are you making noises over there, Zara? All right. Uh, I, wrote, I, I wrote down the name of this bank, uh, and I can't read my writing. This is the biggest bank in, in the U United Kingdom, uh, Lloyd's, I believe, 26% profit drop. Uh, very, very, uh, very scary for them. That's the second big bank to show a huge, huge profit drop in the Euro in Europe that are centrally uh, around the UK or uh, the European Union. Remember, HSBC did so as too. Um, uh, hard to find a house church. Start your own house church. Many on His Glory, the Fall of His Glory, are starting their own house church. One brave woman said, I'm going to start this house church with just me. And I'm going to start gathering them in and I'm going to pray to the Lord that we gather them in. That's how you do it. Start with one. Um, we'll, do, we'll do sacraments here. People have asked about that too. We will do, we, we will do, uh, we will do um, communion. 
Uh, we'll probably do communion on the first, uh, the first Sunday of every month. We'll, we will do communion. All right, Christianity, a hate crime in Scotland. I would, I want to make sure that everybody's perfectly aware. I'm not steering you away from a building. If you have a great church that you love and there's truly good fellowship, there are out there, are out there. There are very few, but they are out there. Stay there. Uh, enjoy it. But there are very few. And prophecy uh, is, is right before us. That's how this church is growing in China. That's how the church is growing in um, Iran. The more they squeeze it, the more they go underground in their homes. And with technology, we are the net, the internet. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. Huge. Huge, Jerry. Huge. Trump administration um, talking about uh, the, uh, the legal team were working back in 2017, trying to make arrangements with Assange's legal team to give him immunity. Uh, so and not to release the CIA Vault 7. Uh, but Comey, remember this, this was something that was reported about a year ago. Comey came in at the back end of this deal and he cut it off. He, he went behind the president's back, he killed the deal, and then he released the, the, uh, the, the CIA Vault 7 anyway and stopped the negotiations. Oh, James Comey, Loretta Lynch. I hear Loretta's talking. That's why she's so quiet. She's talking. Those who are quiet usually are talking. Those who are talking loud and screaming are in deep trouble. All right, uh, let's. We're at the 56-minute mark. I am going to give you the itinerary of the Israel trip. Uh, I think I have it here. This is the itinerary of the Israel trip, Israel Greece trip. Uh, we will be able to send this out to you via email and put the link up. Uh, we'll put the link up on our website, and we'll have the link put everywhere soon. Uh, let me see where I can find the itinerary. I had the itinerary. There it is. Uh, okay, here is the itinerary to our trip. Um, we are looking at July 30th to August 10th. So this is going to be an incredible trip. Uh, leaving the 30th uh, from, um, uh, we will be going to Tiberias, the Mount Pre Precipice, uh, Nazareth, Nazareth, we didn't go to Nazareth last time, Cana, where the wedding of Cana is, that may be a part of our Sunday service talking about how important uh, the, the wedding, uh, the marriage is biblically with God, that was where Cana was the first, uh, that's Jesus' first miracle uh, at the wedding, uh, which was on the third day. Uh, we'll be on the, the, the Sea of Galilee both those days. You'll be able to go out on the boat just like Jesus did. Uh, you'll be able to sing uh, in Hebrew. There's a great, great guy that sings great music, and it's just it's breathtaking when you're on the Sea of Galilee. It's just, it's, it brings the Bible alive. You just, when I first got on there in January, I, I started a ball. We're going to be on the Mount of Beatitudes, uh, Tagatha, Church of, the, the, of St. Peter, Capernaum, Bethsaida, Kersey, which is uh, Legion, uh, the Golan Heights area, the Sea of Galilee boat ride. We're going to be doing baptisms in the Sea of Galilee this time. Um, from there, we will be going to uh, we will be going to uh, the Dead Sea to do a Dead Sea swim. So this trip, we didn't go to the Dead Sea the first time. We're going to the Dead Sea. We're going to the Qumran. So you're going to see the Qumran caves where the Dead Sea scrolls. Uh, Bethany, the Mount of Olives, Gethsemane. Uh, overnight, we'll be staying in God's city of truth, Jerusalem. So Mount of Olives is breathtaking. Uh, the Garden of Gethsemane, we were, we were baptizing people in the Holy Ghost in the Garden of, Garden of Gethsemane last time. Uh, just absolutely incredible, incredible, incredible. So that's uh, the, August 2nd. Then we go to Bethlehem. You're going to actually see the Christians in Bethlehem, the store that will be a partner with us. You'll be able to see them. Uh, they have a beautiful store there in Bethlehem. We support the Christians. You'll see where uh, the Christ was born. Uh, we are going to do a study on the day that Jesus Christ was born, too. And guess what? It's not December 25th. It is the 10th of Nisan. We'll show you in the Bible how we can come to that. Uh, from Bethlehem, we will go to Mount Zion. Upper room. We'll be where the upper room, where Jesus, uh, with the Last Supper. King David's tomb. 
Uh, the Wailing Wall, we'll be able to go and pray in the Wailing Wall. We are going to try to get on the Temple Mount as well. Uh, Bethsaida, uh, Homo, a garden, the Garden Tomb, where they now believe that's where Christ was. We did baptize in the Spirit and the Garden Tomb as well. Uh, then we'll go to Old Jaffa. And then we go to the airport and go to Greece. Uh, we'll spend the night in Thessalonica. It's the church of, 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 of the Thelonians coming to life. The footprints of Paul in Greece. You can't get any better than this. We'll be in Thessalonica. So the next day will be Philippi, uh, market, uh, ballistic, theater, uh, baptismal, uh, baptismal site of Lydia, the crypt where Paul was imprisoned overnight in Thessalonica in Greece. Uh, we will go to Virgi, uh, Church of Apostle Paul, uh, Vir Virginia, Royal Tombs, uh, Calbasca, uh, overnight in Calbasca, and then we'll go from there, the great uh, 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 Monastery of Varium, Monastery of St. Stephen, uh, we'll be in Delphi, and then from Delphi, Sacred Way, Agora, Treasuries of the uh, uh, Athens, uh, uh, the Tipid of Palladia, the Temple of Apollo, the Stadium, the Museum, Athens, uh, Palaika in Athens, overnight in Athens, uh, and then uh, Aerogabus, Corinth, dinner at a local tavern in Corinth. How cool would that be? And we'll be spending the night in Athens. So we'll be spending the night in Athens, Thessalonica. The, the, new, the, the new Testament coming alive, the footprints of Paul. Oh, what a glorious trip that's going to be. Oh, what a glorious trip. So reach out to Elisa at hisglory.me so you can sign up for this trip. This trip is going to be a game changer. And uh, the last trip um, that we went on, uh, we got an email to the email group and uh, everyone on that trip said it was a game changer. You, met for, you have family, relatives uh, that are on the trip forever. Those, those relationships are forever. Uh, they feel like family, they act like family. They're closer than your real family in some cases. And it changes your life. Every single person that I talked to that went on the Israel trip in January changed their life. And this trip will be Israel and the footprints of Paul. All wrapped in one. Giddy up. Giddy up. Elisa at hisglory.me. Pass once we get the itinerary ready and the pricing. We'll send it out to everyone that wants it. Please uh, tell a friend, tell a family member. Spread it all over social media. Uh, we want to change people's lives for Jesus Christ. And we close by praying for the President of the United States. We pray for him and his plan. We pray for uh, the economy and the reset. We pray for his cabinet that are making key, uh, 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 key moves. We pray for our, um, our military. I did get some uh, intel today about our military and the coronavirus in March that may be part of the roundup. I can't say anything more. Uh, I think we'll be back from Washington, D.C. before this is supposed to hit. Uh, I'm probably getting in trouble because I even sp spilled that out. Uh, but it's coming. It's coming. You can see things are speeding up, speeding up, speeding up, speeding up. So we pray for all that, uh, especially for the roundup. If we go, to a, we go to a martial law type system because of coronavirus, let's just say, uh, that would be easier to do the things they got to do. Um, and uh, last but not least, we pray for each and every one of you that this great awakening, people will know the risen Christ. This is what it's all about. It's not about just good versus evil. This is, this is about the light on the dark, and it's the billion-person harvest. This is to shed the light of Jesus Christ all over the world. It's time. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Are you going to carry your cross? Are you going to put your cross up? Are you going to do the will of the Lord? That's the key. When we get to the Bema Seat, it's not what we've done in the life. It's what we've done for Him that matters. Remember, we'll go to the Bema, the Bema Seat that Paul was talking about. We'll be there. And Paul was talking about the Bema Seat. That's where you've done the things that the Lord, you're saved. You, you, you go home, to, you're going to be home with be the Lord. But once you're saved, your work begins. And that's where you have to, to do the will of the Lord that He has for you in your heart. And that's where the beam will come up, the silver, the gold, the bronze. We want to have gold when we go up to the beam of seat. Not the worldly gold, but the gold that we did everything he asked us to do. Spreading the gospel, bringing people in, planting that seed and letting the Holy Spirit grow it. It's all about the risen Christ. It's all about his glory. 
and it's time for the greatest outpouring of the Holy Ghost ever. I feel the Holy Spirit come down. Woo, here he is. Wow. All right. Um, wow, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Even, even Zara lo uh, looked up. <laughs> She's like, what's that? That's, that's the Holy Spirit, Zara. Uh, all right, so tonight we have um, 7 o'clock. Uh, prayer, the prayer, uh, prayer intercessors tonight at seven Eastern. Tomorrow we have a big day with three guests tomorrow, and we'll probably do a take five Q and A. We're going to do a Q and A with two of our guests uh, so that we can keep it uh, keep it lively, and then we'll do another Q and A uh, later in the afternoon, most likely. Um, and then uh, we have the Sunday service, Sunday service at twelve, and we have. Um, Lots of great stuff. So pass the word. Let's spread the home church. If you're going, if you're uh, going to start a home church or you are doing a home church, uh, please email Elisa at hisglory.me. We want to be able to stream in a church to do a shout out on our Sunday service to say, hey, there's Jimmy from Santa Clara, California, and his home church of 12 people, or uh, depending on what time of day it is in Kenya. We know in Kenya that there's four churches watching, uh, uh, the, the His Glory churches. And there's about 400 in Kenya. There's a couple hundred in Liberia, at least, that we know of. Several hundred in Pakistan. And who else knows all over the world? We're growing, we're growing, we're growing. Because it's not for, us, for, not for me. It's for His glory. We're just servants. He, it's His glory, and He shares His glory with no one. May the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless you. Until next time. Go in a shalom. Peace.